Hello everyone and welcome back to Long's Takes. Today we are going to be sharing my story of my second Nuzlocke journey through an anime based ROM hack of Pokemon. Last time the ROM hack was an entire Dragon Ball focused adventure, but this time I played through Animon. This game is the ultimate Pokemon anime crossover game, with Pokemon trainers and locations all replaced by characters and places from dozens of different anime franchises. If you watched my last Nuzlocke video, you know the deal, but if not, here's how the challenge works and the specific rules I will be following. Number one, I can catch only the first encounter that I meet at any location. Number two, if a character faints in battle, they are considered dead and can no longer be used. Number three, I can't use items in battle. Number four, my team can not be a higher level than the next major boss that I am fighting. As a whole, Animon is much more diverse and substantially more difficult than Dragon Ball team training. Some Animon are even more overpowered in their movesets and abilities than the ones from team training. Couple this with the fact that unlike team training, this game has no freely available documentation, which means that every single fight I am going in completely blind which forces me to guess the level caps of my opponents as well as what their teams might look like. Given how I have not seen every anime and this game is full of characters that I don't even recognize in the slightest, guessing typing, movesets, and abilities is going to be an insanely difficult challenge, even if I do know who the character is. But I've rambled on long enough, let's get into it. Part 1 unbalanced battles. The game begins in Karakura Village, where we are immediately given whiplash upon seeing who the main rival of the game is. IS THAT LIGHT, YAGAMI?! In the intro of the game, we were already introduced to the professor in this game, Kisuke from Bleach. At the lab, we meet our other rival, who is Lucy from Fairy Tail. Just like all other Pokemon games, we get a selection of three starters. The option this time, instead of being Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan, are now Kid Goku, Kid Naruto, and Luffy. Sorry, Bleach fans. In this game, Goku is a fighting type, for obvious reasons. Naruto is a flying type, because he uses wind-style jutsu and Luffy is a normal type because rubber is normal, I guess? The first rival fight is an obvious breeze even with type disadvantage. On Route 1, we begin to get our first taste of the trend that is to come, with the first route having Kid Krillin, Raftalia, and Flilial from Shield Hero. Making it through the first route, we encounter our first gym leader, Weevil Underwood from Yu-Gi-Oh! who challenges us to fight him in the nearby forest. After getting some Annie Balls from the Professor, we can finally begin the Nuzlocke, where we pick up Raftalia and Entoma from Overlord. Making our way through the forest that is mostly populated with Dragon Ball characters like Cell and Gregory, we make it to Weevil. All the Animon at this point don't hit very hard, and many resist each other, causing the battle to be quite drawn out, but we manage to pull it off without losing any of our Animon. As a sore loser, Weevil does what he does in Yu-Gi-Oh! and throws our Animon into a lake, but thankfully, the real gym leader shows up to help us out. With nowhere else to go, we head to Nami's water-type gym, and here we learn the grim reality about Animon. This game is simply unbalanced especially if you are following the level caps. Nami's team is made up of two one or two stage Animon in Jinbei and Kisame, who have way higher stats than anything you can get at the same level up to this point. On top of this, Kisame has the ability Drizzle, which means the entire time there is rain on the battlefield, which makes water type moves do even more damage. On top of this, her Animon have setup moves, meaning they can easily power themselves up as my weak Animon can't even come close to one-shotting them. With no other option, I'm forced to make some sacrifices and we have the first death of the run. Even after all of the defense drops, Goku barely does any meaningful damage to Jinbei, and it's only because Jinbei chooses to not attack at the last moment that we're able to win. Okay, 100 accuracy, okay. We need him to not crit. Or we need him to low roll. Oh, he's dumb! Oh, oh my god! Woo! 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 Let's go! 
But with spirits high after making it through the difficult gym with relatively low casualties, we move on to the next rep. Oh, shit. Well, here we go, guys. Rival battle. And immediately get jumped by Lucy, whose Animon team are already a way higher level than the gym leader by a pretty big gap. I had picked up another encounter of Paito, but given how her main team was Fire-type Natsu and I had two Bug-types, it played out just as well as you'd expect. Critical hit, okay. Damn! I have to go Goku here. Man! <laughs> Fuck this game. Oh, it's over. We lost. We wiped. Uh We do no we do no damage to this guy and he's super effective against our whole team. Yeah, well, that's dead. Fireboy, I don't think Luffy would have survived that either. Alright! So, as quickly as it began, the run ended. This is the brutal reality of Animon. This game does not care about you, or your team, or your fun. Each fight is as broken and unbalanced and unfair as possible. But I wasn't ready to give up just yet. After a couple more attempts that all wiped to Nami's incredibly overpowered team, we begin on attempt number four. This time, in order to not go insane, I allow Kid Goku to get one level higher than the level cap, which allows him to evolve into normal Goku. My team is also a little different this time, as we managed to catch a Kid Krillin, who at the moment was weak, but it was nice having a partner for Goku. Now, with a much stronger Goku, we easily clear the fight. This time, we enter the new route and pick up a Deku from My Hero Academia and avoid the rival fight at all costs. As it turns out, it's completely optional at this point in the game. Then, we arrive at Musatafu Town, which is connected to a bunch of new locations, one of which is a forest in which there is a quest to battle students for a reward. These students turn out to be yet another wild level jump, having already exceeded level 20 without literally any warding. Thankfully, my team is strong enough to where we don't get bodied. By fighting those trainers, Krillin is able to evolve, with his stats becoming somehow higher than anyone else on the team as he's only a two-stage evolution, even surpassing Goku. At this point, we encounter another issue with this game, though. While it has a bunch of signature moves for characters, they are often less than helpful in their descriptions. Kaioken? Yo? What am I supposed to do with this information, bro? <laughs> Thanks for telling me, man. Uh... Thanks for telling me that it's his signature move, man. That really helps. While in this area, we catch a couple new encounters like Killua from Hunter x Hunter before coming across the boss of this area, Karma from Assassination Classroom who somehow has lower levels than the trainers who came before him. Once again, game balance at its best. He's pretty easy to beat, besides his last Animon, who is Kuro-sensei, which spams evasiveness moves and hits with crazy strong attacks like Octozuka. However, Krillin quickly demonstrates why he's the strongest member on our team. 20, okay. What type are you? No! Dude, I'm not dealing with this shit, man. Dude, I'm... Dude, you're... No. Oh. Okay. Okay, maybe. This motherfucker just used Octozooka? Dude, 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 dude. Dude, stop! <gasps> Krillin's insane! Let's go! Yeah! Dodge that motherfucker! Now, with an extremely buffed up team, we returned to Lucy, who had bodied us in our first attempt, and things went a bit different. Making our way into this area, we meet the villain team of this game, 
the Black Knights. Apparently, the society in this game is like super classist and they want to rebel against it, so honestly, I don't see how they're the bad guys here. Anyways, we pick up a Shiro from Fate and move on to the next area, which is the Power Plant. This game loves throwing boss fights at you as immediately after the battling both Karma and Lucy, a certain someone is waiting for us, Light Yagami. His team is easy besides his second Pokemon, which is Yoruichi. You see, every Bleach character in this game is a ghost type, which is absolutely busted when paired with her electric typing, as pretty much every attack at this point is either normal or fighting, with only a few type attacks being available. The only reason we're able to win is because my Killua has a ghost type move. In the power plant itself, our first encounter is that same busted Yorichi, but... That's pretty good. This is a good encounter. Ghost types this early. Whew. <laughs> Bro, his his back spray is looking so lame. I mean, I just assumed because light uh also had a Yorichi, so I assumed that they got it from the power plant, you know, this electricity place. <gasps> oh no! She had teleport, meaning no encounter for us. The only other important thing that happens in here is that we encounter just a normal Pikachu, which means actual Pokemon are still in this game. The next gym is fittingly the electric gym, and unlike the previous gym battle, this one is completely easy even without having any ground types. I was honestly a little disappointed with how terrifying some other fights had already been. Feeling good about ourselves and arriving in the next town, it once again has so many opportunities in new areas that before we fight any major boss, our team looks completely different. Firstly, we catch a Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho, who is an insanely solid and powerful attacker. And we pick up Gara, a ground type who is one of the tankiest characters in the entire game. We also get an egg that hatches into Ichigo, finally having that busted ghost typing that we were looking for. Not done there, we also had three evolutions. Killua became Godspeed Killua, Ichigo got his Hollow Mask, and Yusuke evolved into his demon form. With this insanely buffed up team, it was time to take on the next challenge, which is the Kame Village Tournament in which we fight a gauntlet of trainers, ending with the town champion. Luckily, aside from a few close calls, Whoa! Yo! Oh wait, they don't heal you between fights. This is... This is insane! What the fuck? My team was able to sweep through until we reached the champion, who turned out to be Jackie Chun. Or, sorry, Jacker Chun? Jackie Chun! Yo! Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come for the final two trainers to face off. I've never seen anything quite like this. In their very first tournament, Lonk has gone all the way to the end, but will their luck run out against the undefeated champion of Kame Town's annual tournament? It's Jackie or... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, why how they misspell Jackie Chun? <laughs> Jacker Chun? <laughs> Uh, Jack or Chun, everybody. Immediately, things were not looking good. My team was already really beaten up leading up to this fight, and his weakest character, Krillin, was already higher level than my highest level character. Using Gara's damage over time with Sandstorm, we managed to beat Krillin, but Roshi follows it up with an even more powerful Vegeta. However, I realize I have one way to heal. Switching to Goku, I use his ability Wish, and then switch to Ichigo, hoping Vegeta goes for a fighting move. But in this moment, I realized something. Dragon Balls! Yes! <laughs> he can't hit Ichigo! He couldn't hit Ichigo! Oh my god! Oh, yes! <laughs> Ghost types are broken! Dude, this is why I was so sad that I didn't get Yorichi. Ghost types are broken. He can't do anything. He can't do anything. 
<laughs> Kyle Ken! Hurrah! Shout out. Shout out to my old video. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. This is so embarrassing. This is so... This is so embarrassing for him. Dude. <laughs> Let's go! That's impossible! Maybe have a move that can hit a ghost type! Winning the tournament, there was no time to rest, as the next gym was the immediate next stop. Knowing I would have lost if I didn't have Ichigo, I level up my team and head in. Here's how it went. Th that's... Why didn't I think of that? That's genius. That's actually genius. So we're fighting this guy then. Please don't be something insane. <laughs> Bro is in the wrong gym. Am I am I missing something? Am I am I <laughs> What is this game, dude? You beat them so easily, but they beat me over and over again. They took so much value. How are you able to beat them? I can't understand this, but you have been proven yourself. Here is your gym badge. Oh my god. It's a free gym badge. Oh my lord. I psyched myself out. <laughs> That's so anticlimactic. <laughs> Turns out, it was a total fakeout, with Jackie being the real gym leader. Still, things were going great as we had managed to get another badge without any deaths. Was this game only hard at the start? Part 2. The game is not just hard at the start. Arriving in the next town, we meet with Reagan from Mob Psycho, whose building has been taken over by the Black Knights, which means we need to clean the place out. Most of these fights are easy, and due to so much EXP, Goku finally evolves into his final form of this game. Super Saiyan Goku. We also fight our rival, who ultimately poses no challenge, and pick up Mob from Mob Psycho. Deep within the tower, we meet the boss, who uses a team of all Fate characters. Things are going well, until they send out... Saber. Okay, 38. Okay, we were close, but this is fine. Let's see what move she uses. Let's, let's, let's wait her out, let's see. Divine Strike. I don't like that at all. That's... I don't like that at all. But we're gonna use uh, Sand Attack. What is this? Excuse me? It just did that much damage to Gara. The... The guy with 96 defense and 79 special defense? With that much damage done to a character with that much defense, she was essentially capable of one-shotting my entire team with this move. And we didn't know what type she was. With his ghost typing, Ichigo was my best bet to hopefully be immune to or at least resist it. I think... Okay, so here's the deal. If we use a ghost move, we'll figure out if she's a normal type. Because it'll miss. If we use slash, and it's not very effective, then we'll know she's a steel type. And we can slowly narrow down what type she is. Because I have no fucking clue. We're faster? She missed! Oh! Gara from beyond the grave! Yes! His spirit! Yes! Okay, okay. Slash has a high critical hit ratio. I think it's stronger than, um... Please live, Ichigo. It's a fighting move. No, wait, what? Wait. Super effect- Ah, oh, fuck. What type is that? No, wait, no, 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 no. This has to be- This has to be a fairy type. That's right. Without- any prior indication, this game had introduced fairy typing, and decided to put it as a move capable of one-shotting pretty much every character in the game up to this point. Still, due to having a priority move with Shadow Sneak, 
Killa was able to defeat her with the help of Sandstorm chip damage. If my team had been slightly different, the run would have ended right then and there. Thankfully though, defeating the evil team opens up some new catching opportunities as we get Tatsumaki, Frieza, and Usopp, while also evolving a couple of older characters. With the next gym being Psychic and many of my best characters being fighting types, I decided to completely change up my team, especially with how hard the last fight was. Only for Yusuke to solo literally the entire fight by spamming one move repeatedly. Isn't this game balanced so well? Well, that was an easy as hell boss fight done. I'm sure the game will be smooth sailing from here on out. Oh hey, it's Light Yagami. I'm sure this fight will be easy as last time. Please, oh god, please don't be a fairy type. I can't deal with another fucking fairy type, dude. Oh god, okay. Um, I want to make a video about that, but like, I would just be repeating so many other people's scaling. Is Goku just dead? Please don't die, Goku. Fucking hell! Oh my god, this run just... I, I don't think I can win this. I don't think I can win this fight. Fate characters in this game are so fucking strong. This is, this is just the same fight from before all over again. I can't win this. There's no way. He's just... I, I can't win. There's no fucking way. <gasps> Para paralysis. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, no, we're in this. Okay, Goku died again. This is... I don't know. Goku just dies in all my runs, I guess. Holy shit. With pure luck... Killua's Thunder was able to paralyze Gilgamesh, which gave me the opportunity to beat him and his next two characters. But then his final character came out, and I made the biggest mistake I've ever made in a mess lock. They say Saitama beats Naruto. Uh, I'll think later. Uh, please be a... He's a dark type. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, guys, Tatsumaki's dead. Um, <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. I can't switch out and she can't hit him. She can't switch out and I can't hit him. Oh, no. And essentially complete stalemate. I can't switch Tatsumaki out and she can barely do any damage. Thus, I'm stuck clicking useless moves for the next five minutes until she finally dies. So, once again, Goku has failed to complete a Nuzlocke, and with Gohan not being in the game, instead, Krillin's gonna take his place. Making my way through the next cave, I had hoped I would break from more Dragon Ball related deaths. I don't want to deal with this. Okay, good. Frieza, you gotta get a higher. Dude, dude, this fucking game. Oh. Trudging through the cave, though, there is some good news with Mob finally evolving into his question mark, question mark, question mark percent state with an unrivaled massive special attack stat. Making it out of the cave, I had hoped that it would only be easy fights and non-traumatizing battle encounters, at least into the next gym. I was partially right, at least. Making it through, the next gym we meet is the Steel-type gym leader, Winry, who tells us we need to deal with a problem at Tucker's place before we can battle her. Immediately, I realize what's happening. And if you don't, spoilers for Full Metal Alchemist. No. No, this is so fucked up! No! This is so fucked up! Dude, you guys can't see me? My jaw is on the floor right now. I can't believe they put this in the ROM hack, bro. I'm saving. What the fuck? No. Oh god, I- Dude, I thought that was the girl for a second. That's the gym leader. That's the gym leader, thank god. No. Oh god, no. No! No! It's the fucked up dog girl! No! There she is! I don't want to fight it! Oh, this is... Oh, this is actually this... 
Dude, this is actually scarier and more fucked up than any of like those edgy Pokemon ROM hacks. No, don't. Do I have to fight her? Okay, that's just the thing from Full Metal. Okay. No, I think that's the daughter. No, 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 Krillin. Go get him, Krillin. Go get him, Krillin. I've never been so uncomfortable in a Nuzlocke before in my life. No! She's level 10! Oh! No! No, Krillin, I'm so sorry! Put it on with you, Sir Krillin! Sorry, Krillin. Krillin has seen horrors he was never meant to see. Thankfully, the following gym battle was incredibly easy for the most part, so we can just move all on from this traumatizing town. And right into a rival battle with Lucy, with her final ace being Gear 4 Luffy, which made me a little bit cocky. Please don't paralyze. Oh my god, Deku. You don't care though, Deku. You're the GOAT. Let's go! How much is How hard does this hit? <laughs> Holy shit! Yo! <gasps> Alright. After Lucy, we're able to explore the map a bit more, capturing Sasuke and having the weirdest encounter on a run so far, while trying to fish for a new character. What? 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 What's happening? What? What is Pew? This game just has actual Pokemon. I have no idea why this happened or why his level is so high, but I wasn't able to capture him for those reasons. However, at a different location, we caught an Eren who evolves into Titan Eren, who is one of the most solid characters in the game, sporting strong normal type moves and one of the strongest abilities in the game, Intimidate, which lowers the opponent's attack when switching in. Further down the route, we encountered what could be considered the first legendary Animon of the game, Itachi Uchiha from Naruto. With only a bit of struggle, we captured him and added him to the team. Together with his brother Sasuke, the two of them easily burn through the next gym, which happened to be grass type. So sometimes the game gives you the right tools to defeat hard bosses, and sometimes they don't. From here, we travel to High Kori Mountain, a location with a mix of fire and ice biomes in the same area. After spending way too much time on an ice puzzle, we make it out and take on the Knight's Secret Base, which is another slog of puzzles and weak opponents until we make it to the boss of the Black Knights, Zero. After struggling for ages against his tanky CC, we pretty easily beat his next two characters. So, turns out the final boss of the organization was way weaker than his own henchmen. Who would have thought? Climbing High Kori Mountain, we encounter the next static, powerful character, Minato. He was insanely hard to catch, and due to being reckless, I essentially let Mob die. Thankfully, we do catch him in the end and head right to the next gym, which is a fire-type gym. Aside from losing Mob, the only real concern I had at this point were fate characters, as nothing else had really given me trouble in a while. The fire duo of Itachi and Sasuke once again easily take on this fire-type gym, giving us 7 of the 8 badges. For the next section, nothing of major story importance occurs besides catching some new characters, like Fujita and two guys from Spirited Away, which I thought was an interesting addition. However, things start getting interested when we reach Domino City, which has the game corner, which means with a little bit of ethical cheating, we can get a free character to add to the team. The game corner, there are two very obvious custom sprite characters that give me a really bad vibe for some reason, but speaking to them give us the coin case, which allows us to get the character that had almost ended our run so many gyms ago, Saber. As it turns out, Saber is just as busted as I had thought, sporting a dragon and fairy typing, having an attack boosting ability, and an 100 accuracy 80 base power move Divine Strike at an insanely low level. With her and the team, how could we lose? While investigating the game corner, we are suddenly banished to the Shadow Realm. What? 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 
the, sh the Shadow Realm? Where after we catch a Dark Magician, we talk to the final gym leader, Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. Unfortunately, Saber is just as busted as I had predicted, literally one-shotting every single one of his characters with ease. I summon Dark Magician! Bop. I summon Magician's Girl! I summon that thing! I summon Getsuga! I summon D Paladin! Anyways, um, so, uh, that was the last gym. Is this game finally going my way? Part 3. The game does not go my way. Building my final team, Victory Road was easy until we got to the very final battle with Light Yagami. After the last battle in which she had killed Goku, I wasn't taking any chances. With fire types now on my team, Itachi and Sasuke once again burned through most of his Animon until his last character, a Vegeta, whose level is 20 higher than anything else. Why? His only move is explosion. Thankfully, someone had warned me about this. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, he's... Alright, please tell me he actually just uses explosion. Please tell me he was telling the truth. <laughs> Vegeta, no! Vegeta, no! Now, with Light defeated, all that was left was the Elite Four. I prepared my final team as follows. Saber, the Dragon Fairy type. Eren, the Normal type. Krillin the fighting type, Yusuke the dark type, Sasuke the fire and electric type, and Itachi the psychic and fire type. And here's how it went. This is my Elite Four run without much commentary so you can get the full experience. If you've made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the other side. Welcome to the Animon League. I am Hiyori of the Elite Four. I've always had a connection with Ghost Animon. They share their strength with me, and together we can't lose. Good luck. Alright, let's do this properly this time. Let's not, let's not goof around, you know? You know the move. All right. <laughs> I love how he's the little head of hair. Ah! <laughs> he's screaming. All right. We should be good for it now. Easy clap. All right. Hey, keep Baldi. No worries, man. All right, so this guy has a fairy type attack. Um, so we're gonna go switch to uh, Itachi here or Sasuke here. Nice. Uh, let's protect to see what move he goes for. Night slash. Okay, so he's nothing super effective. That's good. Um, let's burn him. All of his attacks are physical so far. Uh, uh, Charlene, no one's asked me to do a speech of anything, so probably not. All right, and we'll just find the room. Go catch you no jutsu. Oh wow, this guy's really strong. This actually, this guy's really strong, and we could have actually had him on the team. Um, what is this? They got citrus berries? I don't have citrus berries! What the hell? Alright. Hey, Binjar, this is not the time to ask me power scaling questions, dog. I am in the middle of a Nuzlocke, dog. Like, what? <laughs> like, what's up, bro? Alright. All right, and but the answer is Krillin, yeah. <laughs> All right, Spirit Gun. Easy. Damn, he's tanky. This shouldn't do anything. This guy's not 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa. Okay, that was a crit. Fuck. Dude, this guy's getting lucky. Okay, well, Saber. Uh, it's time to show why you're the best character in the game. Nice dragon breath, idiot. Uh, Alright, time to die. Fuck. Bad dragon. White Haze. Am I crazy? Is that a JoJo stand? Am I crazy? Who's this? Oh, it's... It's... it's. No, sorry. I was thinking of Purple Haze. My bad. No, it's... uh. Yeah, I was thinking of Purple Haze. My bad. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, Saber, what type is Saber? Oh, she's a dragon type, I forgot. Oh, so punished. So punished. I forgot she was a dragon type. Alright, good, full restore. Oh god, okay. See, this is what happens when you don't have knowledge of who you're fighting. Dude, this chick's coverage is crazy! Itachi, don't die! Should have checked what? Come on, please die. Okay. Whew. Whew. Okay. 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 Tear Hunt. Who is Tear Hunt? That sounds like one of those fake names. Who's Tear Hunt? Um. Well, we gotta go Sasuke because everyone else is dying. So, our team is bleeding right now. Oh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Um. This is bad. This is insanely bad. <laughs> Cause they're a water, t they're a water ghost type. Um. Okay. Cause she, cause Sasuke's. We have to like kill her in one hit or we die. Let's see what she does. Okay, is she gonna go for lovely kiss again? Come on. Just die, just die, just die, just die, just die. You're not tanky. There's no way you're a tank. There's no way you're a tanky. Come on, 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 come on. Easy! Easy, baby! Whew, okay. Yeah, well, sorry. <clears throat> I am Erwin of the Elite Four. It's commendable how far you've made it on your journey, but you must process true strength. However, my Animon do not buckle or yield when faced with adversity. My Animon push forward. My Animon scream out. My Animon rage. Please be a normal type trainer so I can smack you with Krillin. That'd be so funny. Oh, he's holding a Pokeball. Wow, that's really cute. I forget what type she is. <laughs> I don't remember what type she is, guys. Oh, got gotcha. Alright, Krillin, let's see how, how much you cook her with this. Oh, she is a normal type. She's a normal type, we're fine. What type is Sasuke? Is a type, uh, Sasuke, Psychic Fire, Itachi. Yo, 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 yo! Dude, stop critting! Get out of my game, loser! Oh my god, Krillin. <laughs> oh, dude, if Krillin died right there, I was gonna quit. Holy crap. Alright, well... Krillin's out of this fight, pretty much. Uh, Archer. Uh, let's go, Aaron. Alright. Lower his attack. Oh, okay. He didn't use Intimidate, though. Great. Okay. Uh, I think Brick Break should just be super effective here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's scary. That's scary. I don't like that at all. 
Come on, die, 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 die. Oh my god, Aaron is so strong, dude. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay, he's using his own Aaron. Um, let's go to... We're gonna do something nuts here. We're gonna do something a little bit kooky crazy. Oh no, I'm intimidated! Gotcha, bitch. Alright, so now his intimidate is wasted. Now we go to our Eren. Now we lower his attack. Well, he doesn't lower ours, and then we just have the advantage. Yeah, see, it does nothing now. He is faster, though. That's actually a little bit concerning. Alright, one more should be good. Dude, why do they all get citrus berries? There's like no... I didn't get citrus berries? What is this? Alright, we should be fine. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay. Um, we're just gonna save Ryzen. Let's go, Itachi. Ginger Fisher, welcome to the stream, bro. We're kind of in the midst of uh, some intensity here. Okay, please don't do a crazy amount of damage. Okay, we can work with that. Dude, Eren is crazy in this game, man. Oh! Shit, okay. Fuck, okay. Um, uh, shit. We live another. We live another unless he crits. Come on, Itachi. Come on, Itachi. Don't die. Don't get crit. There we go. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. He, he's losing his vision because of uh, he's, he's overusing the Mangekyo Sharingan, but he's fine, guys. He's fine. All right, now we go. Now we go his younger brother. This is all calculated, guys. Don't worry about it. How did he know? He read me like a book. He read me like a book. Una Libro. Okay, we're still faster, though. Dude, he's so tanky, man! Dude! What is this RNG? Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Um, we have to get another Intimidate. We have to get another Intimidate. We have to lower his attack more. Come on. Do nothing, do nothing, do nothing, do nothing. Oh, he hit. Okay, good. He's double intimidated. He's double intimidated. We're fine. All right. Uh, it's rising time. It's rising time. How does he know? Okay, that did nothing, though. That did nothing, though. Okay, now his attack is triple lowered. Uh, now we break break. Come on, his defense is down. No way he lives this. Oh, yes! Yes, Ryzen! This is why you're the goat! The Demon King! Let's go. Alright, 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 alright. Dude, this AI is cheating, actually. Who the hell is Clearheart? Dude, my team is bleeding. Alright, we gotta go save her. Please don't be someone who's good against dragon or fairy types. Uh... She she's giving me she's giving me she's giving me good against fairy type vibes. <laughs> she's giving me steel type vibes, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's Erza. She's a steel type. Fuck. Um. Steel Fairy?
This is, guys, this is really bad. Oh, okay. I don't think we have, I think she's gonna resist every one of these attacks, but fuck it, we'll, we'll Excalibur. She's gonna resist it, watch. Normal damage, oh. I was stressing for nothing. I was stressing for nothing. <laughs> ah. Never, never nervous. Never, never afraid. Oh, wait, it's a cool. Oh, wait. Exca wait, it has a weakness. It's Hyper Beam. Fuck. Oh, shit. Excalibur again. Go kill him, please. It has a cooldown. I didn't know. Die, 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 die. <laughs> hey, you get bored of the slots already, huh? Battles are way better. Oh, right, you know how everyone around here likes to stick to one Animon type? Yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> God damn it. The two of us, Sora and Shiro, form two halves of the same hole. Let's see if you got the balls to face us. But blank never you loses. Ascent. Oh no. Oh lord. Elite Four blank would like to battle. It is a double battle. Oh no. Okay, well this is the best opening hand here. Intimidate. Intimidate. All right, bad. All right, we fake out. Guys, who who do we who's more scary here? Some an anime girl that I don't recognize or Kakashi. Kakashi's like an electric type in this game. I don't know the girl's type. I think we fake her out. Uh, and then I think we just body slam Kakashi, so we maybe get a paralysis. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. Dude, no! No, what the fuck? Don't do this, bro. Dude, no! No, <laughs> this is gonna be so annoying! This is gonna be so annoying! We, we have to, we have to, we have to jump Kakashi. No way! Okay, she's an electric type. Shoot, what the? Stop critting! Oh, dude, we're losing. We just, we lose. We lose. We lose. You kidding me? We lose. We just straight up lose. Uh, okay, we switch. We switch to... We switch to Sasuke. What? Oh my god, this fight! What the hell? Oh, Krillin! Don't attack Krillin! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, dude, we just lose. I think we just lose. I We, we have missed every single attack. We haven't landed a single hit, besides fake out. We're gonna switch to Ryzen for Krillin, don't worry. We're never landing that. Um... Dude, this is insane, man. Okay, okay, okay. How the fuck? Oh my god, dude. <sighs> Come on. Dude, not like this. Is this? <gasps> Shadow Punch can't be evaded. We have to save Ryzen. He has. We have to send him in later. So we're gonna. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna switch to Itachi here, in case she psychics him. Uh, and then which has more power, uh, Thunderbolt or Flamethrower? If you guys see what I'm doing here, this might work. We essentially have to kill everyone on one side, so it's just Kakashi. Um. Okay. Okay. 
okay. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta reset this whole turn. I don't know where we're at. Okay. Ryzen, we have to save to the end so we can make sure we hit Kakashi. We're gonna go to Itachi here. Nope. And then we're gonna... Flamethrower the girl and hope she dies. Big, 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 big. Okay, he only gets one attack this turn. Okay, okay, okay. By the way, that, right, that, uh... <sighs> Dude. Excuse me? Oh, he hit his own, he hit his friend. Yes, yes. Yes, he hit his own buddy. Oh, God, this... Fuck! Oh, fuck. Dude! That was with that guys. That was with intimidate that he one shot him. Uh, we have to go saber here, um, and we gotta body slam the the, the femboy. Come on, come on, live. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. I don't think we can beat Kakashi. Like, I literally don't think we can kill him. We have to, okay. We keep Saber in. I know she's intimidated, but we have to keep her in. Um, I think we just Divine Strike and hope we hit. And Eren, we have to switch to... Someone else has to die here. Eren's too important. I think we I think we give up Kakashi. I think we give up Itachi, sorry. Okay, wait, he's dumb. Oh! He didn't even die. Neutral damage, we live. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We switch to... <sighs> he's gonna, he's gonna Chidori. He's gonna go to hit. Uh, I think we need to get another Intimidate actually. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I did not mean to do that for my turn. What the fuck? Holy shit, I lost track of turns. Okay, Saber. <sighs> yeah, we might lose. Like, <sighs> shit my ass, dude. Okay. What? Mary, he's bugged something, right? I think we just, I think we need to kill. To, the thing is, the ch Kakashi has triple double teamed. The chances of hitting him are so low. We just got so lucky with that, that we have to divine strike. I want to go Excalibur just so I know we can kill Meru. Or get him so low, right? Fuck. <sighs> All right. Shit my ass, oh yeah. <laughs> Um, let's just try and kill Kakashi. Um, and we have to get another Intimidate. Mr. Taco, you can see my team when I pull it up, though. Oh, you mean their team? Wait, he's just actually dumb. Fuck, we missed. Fuck, crit! Oh! Why 
does he have Iron Tail? Uh... Alright, hope Kakashi dies from this. That just kills, right? Yep. This is... Yeah, Krillin! Let's go, Krillin! I didn't even kill. Alright. Shadow Punch. You fake out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, dude? It's, it's, it's so over. It's so over, guys. It's, it's over. It's over. It's never been more over. <gasps> it's, it's done. It's done. And the last remaining party member. And just like that, my team had been absolutely annihilated by completely cheesy strategies and luck, leaving the longest running member of the team and the last fighter against impossible odds. After surviving yet another hit, Krillin was finally defeated and the Nuzlocke was over. <laughs> Krillin lived. No, Krillin! Blanc is out of usable Animon. Player lost against Elite Floor, blank. Overall, this game was just exhausting to play. And after losing that badly, that deep into the run, I lost the spirit to try it another time. For now, I couldn't nuzlocke the game. I failed. Maybe one day I can come back to it, but for now, this is where the journey ends. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.